Hi everyone, I'm Frank Pon. I'm 44 this year. I'm running an energy company. I have been in the solar industry for almost my entire life. My father started a solar business as early as the 1980s. And I've grown up wondering well, how this clean, unlimited source of energy can potentially transform all our lives. As a kid before the smartphone, I remember those days of powering my Walkman with solar so I can have free music without buying batteries or generating any carbon footprint. Back in the 1970s and the 80s, when solar was still a very nascent industry and Singapore was a contract manufacturing hub, my father ran a company producing solar equipment, largely for the European and the US market. I used to ask, why don't we produce them for Singapore and for the ASEAN market around us? My dad's reply back then was there's, there's not enough area or land available in Singapore to make use of solar in any meaningful way. Many solar farms overseas are built across large parcels of land. In fact, our Prime Minister in Singapore once called Singapore an alternate energy disadvantaged country, primarily because we don't have any energy choices like hydropower, wind power, or geothermal energy. We can only look forward to solar energy with limited land. But what we do have plenty is many tall buildings in Singapore. Many of our government housing buildings are 15 to 25 stories high. Many of our commercial buildings are even much higher. Hence, the whole idea of can we make use of all these rooftops as an area to build a solar system and generate power? Can we actually build a solar farm 15 to 25 stories high in the sky? Now take a look at this photo. Many issues with this idea of building a solar farm in the sky. Firstly, the area on all these tall buildings are very limited. And we need to move all this equipment on the ground to 15, 25 stories high. This means the cost will be generally much higher as compared to solar farms on the ground. Usually one large solar farm has only one connection point. Now, in Singapore to do one megawatt of solar, we probably need to install this across 20 buildings and pull electrical cable from the rooftop, from the first floor to the very top and repeat this 20 times. To do a 100 megawatt then, you need to cross a few thousand buildings and repeat the connection and commissioning process a thousand times. So it's definitely laborious. But with sure determination, I think we did manage. Today, Singapore has installed solar for more than 3,000 buildings and have a capacity of more than 350 megawatts. This is equivalent to an area of 350 football field area. Imagine that area of solar high up in the sky in urban Singapore. Now, one common question is that, can we serve this clean energy that we generate to customers without a rooftop? Say you are staying in an apartment, can you utilize this clean energy? I think the answer is yes. Unutilized power generated from the rooftop systems will be exported into the power grid and we can resell this clean energy to a customer in a different location without a rooftop. In fact, we have created this new business model of clean energy retail and sold that to our very first customer, Apple, in 2015. Today, we have many more RE customers with the likes of Microsoft, Facebook, powering their data centers and more than 8,000 customers residential customers buying clean energy for their homes in the very same manner. We also believe the so-called disadvantage, as in the hassle of building a solar farm in the sky, can actually be turned into an advantage. With a typical solar farm on the ground, there are no additional benefits. Perhaps some land banking as land prices appreciates over time. With rooftop solar across thousands of buildings in Singapore, we can now cross-sell various energy services to the very same building owners. This same building owner who has agreed to a long-term power purchase of solar energy is more likely to agree to other decarbonizing solutions like energy efficiency, like energy storage. We get to promote the very same building owner more energy efficient lighting, chiller systems to help reduce their own energy consumption and carbon footprint. We have utilized the same strategy in all our 12 markets across Asia. In each country, in terms of carbon reduction, we can also calculate the number of trees in equivalent to the capacity of the solar system. 
In Singapore, that number is around 15,000 trees per megawatt of solar. So this means the larger the demand of clean energy and the more solar systems we'll build in the sky and the more trees equivalent we will plant. My father has left me a business to allow me to make a choice and choice that you and I can make today. A choice to say that no limitation of land or government policies is greater than the future of our next generation. Now I'll ask we can make that switch and insist on clean energy today and leave a billion trees for our next generation.